Well, hey, how's it going? I hope that you're doing good today. It's Sunday. Sunday morning. I'm actually, it's actually before church. Doing good today. I, I went to bed early. That means, uh, that means midnight instead of like 3 a.m. So, uh, doing good today. I just wanted to get on here and read a little bit of the word with you and, and pray and just encourage us with the word. So, um, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just gather here to, to, together. Uh, it's Sunday, a day that a lot of us get together with family and friends to worship you together and take a day of rest. And some people aren't able to do that, but whatever it is, it's, it's your day, Lord. And we're just uh, grateful to be able to come together like this uh, over these videos and things just to pray and learn about you, Lord. So we just pray that you would speak to us right now, God, as we do read your word. Tell us what you want to hear right now in this moment. We thank you for all that you do, Lord. We thank you for, for your forgiveness every day, for we all fall short of your glorious standard, but you're always faithful to forgive and just show that uh, unconditional love. We're your children and you you care about us and, and you wanna you wanna give us the best and you want us to be better. So you you discipline us and, and uh and you, and you give good things, Lord. It's it's a good life with you. So we're we're grateful for that. It's not always easy, but but uh, but it's good. All things are working together for our good because we love you, Lord. So yeah, Lord, speak to us as we read this. In Jesus' name. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit about uh, well the, the the message is to encourage us to. To pray, to pray for others, to pray for our brothers and sisters sounds pretty simple, but sometimes we, we do neglect that, you know, and, and uh, when I was talking to a friend the other day, it was around the 4th of July time, I think I talked to her before the 4th, and then I kind of talked to her after, um, it was funny, she just texted me right now as <laughs> I'm doing the video, um, with, with what, we, what we were talking about, but, um, but anyways, um, yeah, so I was, I was talking to her about the 4th, you know, plans for the 4th of July, and then I kind of talked to her afterwards, and I kind of, I kind of, uh, shared with her some of the temptation, you know, that I had during that time, how I was having a, a little bit of a difficult time during that time, and she said something to the effect, like, I, I think I was sharing some of your spiritual attack, you know, and I thought... I thought that was interesting, and then she put temptation kind of in uh, in uh, in parentheses, you know. And and uh, I thought, wow, that's that's pretty intense. If if somebody else can feel your uh, you know your spiritual attack, and and then she kind of gave an example. One time she was in grief, you know, for like eight hours during the day, and then finally the Lord pointed out that it was yeah that it was this couple that had lost their son or something that she was feeling grief for and so um <clears throat> later on that day I was talking to another friend of mine a, a, a dude um that I'm friends with we were hanging out for a while and then we didn't talk for a little bit so the Lord had him on my heart and I called him and and uh, this was right after the four two and he said you know and he said, man, I kind of gave in to the flesh, you know, I, during the fourth, I went and, you know, went and got drunk and I was hanging out with these girls and this and that. And, and, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> I was getting ready to kind of share with them what, what, but before I even had a chance, what, what, what that girl told me, you know, about that. And he goes, I, and he said something like, I hope you didn't, you, yeah, I hope, because I told him I wasn't doing good during that time, and he's, he said something to the effect like, I hope you didn't get any foreknowledge of what was going on with me, and that's why you were having a hard time sort of thing, so, so I thought that was interesting, and I was just kind of, kind of thinking about that, I was kind of excited on the, on the whole revelation of, of, of this, of this thing, I know it's probably a simple, simple thing for for a lot of people to understand this concept. But for me and probably a lot of others, it, you know, the Lord pointed out a a verse to me: If one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. This is First Corinthians twelve twenty six. This is after he talks about the body of Christ, how that every piece is important. You know, the hand. 
So we got pieces of the body that are connected, you know. I mean, we're all connected, you know, but some are closer than others. And, and uh, but, you know, if one part. But to me, the revelation I always got from that verse is like, we cannot be effective as a church in saving souls if certain people are operating the way that they're supposed to. But this brought a whole new whole new meaning to that as we, as we are uh, bearing one another's burdens you know sometimes without even without even being aware of that we're connected as as the body of Christ spiritually and it also brought a new meaning to the to the scripture in Galatians 6 to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ to me again that one meant when you see your brother that's got a lot on their plate and they can't you know and you got some free time to go help them, you know, get some work done and, and uh, you know, th those kind of things. You know, when you see your friend that's broke and you got extra money to lend lend them some money, those, those kind of things. But, yeah, this is a whole other uh, way of, of bearing one another's burdens, you know. And, and when we're feeling those burdens, you know, that sometimes we don't know where they come from. That's a great opportunity for us to, to ask the Lord what that is and, and just start praying for, for those around us. Um, oh, dang it, it's gone now. Okay, here we go. I wanted to read something. That's the only way I could get it. But but that girl sent me a, a little a little story um, that kind of explains a little more about that. I'll be, I'll be quick. Not long after writing this, I heard of a little boy named Sergi living in an orphanage in Polaris. Through another family who adopted... A son from this same orphanage, I was able to obtain photographs of the living conditions those boys face every day. My heart broke. I wanted to do whatever I could to help him. And I started praying for God's direction. Each day I asked God for an assignment to help Sergi. Some days I was able to pray for him. Other days I would call and send emails inquiring of the possibilities to let him travel to spend some time in our home. Though I had limitations, God bless my obedience and gave me assignments I could do. I received one of my most precious assignments in the middle of the night. I woke up with tears streaming down my face. At first I was confused and asked the Lord why I was crying. God gently touched my heart by answering, you are, you are taking Sergi's tears today. That is what you are doing in my name to change the world today. One orphan will go to bed tonight without one single tear God was certainly stirring something in my heart these were more than just and that's kind of where it, that's kind of where it ends but yeah we're so we're sharing those burdens and we're we're, we're the Lord says in uh, in Ezekiel twenty two thirty, I looked for someone who might rebuild the wall of righteousness that guards the land I searched for someone to stand in the gap in the wall so I wouldn't have to destroy the land but I found no one again that's Ezekiel 20 22 30 he's looking for people that are that'll stand in the gap this is called interceding inter, intercession we're, we're we're crying out on behalf of, of of other people of states of countries of our leaders everything um so yeah I urge you First of all, to pray for all people, ask God to help them intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. First Timothy 2, 1. You know, so what are we supposed to pray for them? I mean, we always pray God's will. God's will is always the best thing to pray. Things, things that we know that the Lord wants for them. You know, and we, we also can pray, pray repentance, have mercy on them. You remember a lot with the Sodom and Gomorrah, he was pleading you know, and, uh, you know, there's lots of examples in the Bible where, where people were interceding. They were sta standing in the gap, asking the Lord to have mercy. We can ask the Lord to have patience, for have mercy on our loved one that's caught in addiction. Tell him to have patience. Tell him to deliver them. We can pray a lot of good things. We just need to pray to him from the heart like we do everything else. Yeah, praying always with praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Ephesians six eighteen. 
So, yeah. And, and this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of him. First John 5. Uh, 14 through 15. So, Lord, we just want to pray for your will. We're grateful for the people that you've connected us with, and, and we know that we, we are all standing together, and we need to watch out for each other and pray for one another, make sure everybody's doing good, and we thank you for for being, for being making us part of your body, Lord, and making us your hands and feet. We want to make sure that everyone's operating properly, you know, that they're functioning, that everybody's doing well. So we just pray, Lord, if there's anybody that's not doing well, that you would put them on our heart, Lord, and tell us what you want us to tell them, that we would speak for you, that we would prophesy for you in the name of Jesus. You've given us uh, you've given us spiritual gifts, Lord, for the body to encourage the body of Christ. And that's what we want to do, Lord. We want healings to be done in the name of Jesus, miracles in the name of Jesus, words of God, words of faith, words of wisdom. Things from you, Lord. Walking in your will. So, Lord, we just pray that your will be done. And we love you, Lord. We honor you. We give you all the glory. And we look to you um, for strength. God, we know with you before us, who could be against us? You know, nothing shall be impossible. So, thank you, Jesus. I ask you to bless my friend right here. In your name. Amen. All right. Take care.